Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk about a big connotation. It's one of the core ideas and you as developer need to keep it in mind, especially if you want to pass a tech interview. Uh, big connotation is used to classify algorithms according to how the runtime grows as the input size grows, simply how our, our algorithm will work if we increase the number of elements. Let's start with preparation. I'm going to use Dart. I want to create a simple model user and class with initialization elements. It gives me the ability to create three instances of my class to test algorithms. I want to create a simple factory to initialize my user's map. Let's install a user generation package to generate users' names. Ok, good. Right now let's randomly create users' ages from 18 to 100 years. Uh, please let me know in the comment down below if you know more elegant solution to generate random values with range in Dart. Now let's create a new function where I want to encapsulate call function, print details and measure execution time of code. Uh, let's add three instances of class with different numbers of elements. I think we can increase size a little bit. I want to start with big O1 because it's easy to understand for beginners. To demonstrate it, I want to write a function which will return user by index. We need to add 3 functions and 500 is uh, the user index. Let's run it and check the results. Results are a little bit strange, but the core idea there is, is that our function doesn't depend on size of the array. It's not give me any information about how quick or slow my algorithm is. Compilers with code optimization and operation systems uh, can significantly impact the result, but with big O1 I can suppose that in general if I call my algorithm I receive this result in the same time. And I can draw it as a line on my graph. But keep in mind its simplification. Uh, hope it's clear for you right now. Next, I want to create a new function which will return the number of users with specific age. In this case, we need to iterate over each element in the map. It's big O n. I 
I want to understand how many users are 45 years old in the maps. Let's run it and check the results. We can see that execution time grows if the number of elements in our map grow. We can draw it as a linear line on the graph. Now let's deep dive to more complex things. Uh, it's big O n squared. For it I will use the bubble sort algorithm which you need to know as a developer. This algorithm has two loops, uh, one nested, where we need to swap values. Uh, in that way we will sort our map. Again, let's check the results. Only small problem uh, is that our running function doesn't work in this case. To solve it, I will create a new function. If I run it, we can see that all one core of my CPU is fully occupied. It doesn't make any sense to wait. I want to decrease the number of elements in uh, my maps. As we can see, our line is quadratic right now. Every new element in our map significantly increased time execution. It's big O n squared. And now you are prepared to understand the last things of today. It's big O log n. Imagine that you need to find the first user with specific age in the map or array. Again, we can iterate over each element. It's big O n. Uh, but uh, right now we have a much better solution, it's binary tree. It's uh, an algorithm of searching which you need to understand very well. To use this we need to have a sorted map or array, which we previously got from bubble sort algorithm. This method uses a recursion and every time we will divide our range in two and check the medium element.
again I need to create a new functions to run our algorithm of searching. And I got a stack overflow error. It means that I made a mistake somewhere in my code. Let's optimize our function. and finally fix the error with incorrect brackets. In this case, uh, our algorithm works very quickly, but we have a relation between execution time and number of elements. Our functions on the graph doesn't grow very quickly, only a little bit uh, when records grow. It's big O log N. Hope you understand this concept and I ignited a spark in you to learn more about it. Leave comments if you want to see more video about algorithms. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.